So this is why you should never go to school early. Wait, why? So there was a student named Caleb and he was a good student, but he wasn't great in all his subjects, but he was really good at English literature and he absolutely loved that class. But he always thought his teacher, Mr. Phillips, was a little bit odd because Caleb would go to class early every single day and he would see Mr. Phillips go into the storage room of his classroom and spend like a weird amount of time in there, like a really long time. But Caleb didn't think anything of it. So he would just wait for class to start. And that day when class started, Mr. Phillips assigned an assignment that he would give to every student every year. And the assignment was that each student would get a cutout of Mr. Phillips' face and they would have to take pictures with the cutout and send it to him. So what they would have to do is take the cutout to different locations and take pictures and they would give it to him. So they would take 10 pictures a day and submit them. How does that assignment have anything to do with English? Hang on. So when he's explaining the assignment, he just stops and he starts getting mad at one of the students. And this student's name is Nicole. And he got mad at her for talking to her friends, Christy and Nick. And he always got mad at Nicole for like no reason. And he would always give her after school detention. But after this, Caleb just decided that he just needs to do the assignment and he didn't really think anything of it. So Mr. Phillips gave the cutouts to every single student. But then he asked Caleb, Nick and Christy to stay after class to talk to them. So now Caleb thinks that he did something wrong and that he's in trouble. So the three of them stayed after class to talk to Mr. Phillips. And all Mr. Phillips said that they were doing a great job and he was really impressed with their work. But after he said this, Caleb started to get a really weird feeling from him. Like he was like, this is weird. I think we need to leave. So all he just said was they Thank you. And then they left. And then Christy and Nick wanted to hang out all together, but they forgot that Nicole has after school detention. So she would need to just sit in the classroom with Mr. Phillips for like an hour after school. And she almost did this like every week. Everybody has that one friend that always just got in trouble for no reason. Yeah. So the next day comes along and Caleb got to school early like he does every day. And once again, he saw Mr. Phillips go into the storage room for a really long time. And he still has no idea why. But then Mr. Phillips had to leave because he had a phone call. So he completely left the classroom. And now Caleb thinks that this is the time that he should go see what's in the storage room. So Caleb headed to to the storage room and he opened the door and he was just shocked right when he walked into the door because all over the walls were the pictures of the students from the assignments and when he looked a little closer some of the photos actually had like red circles around the faces and he noticed that the red circles were only on pictures of him christy nick and nicole so it was only those four and then caleb started to get really freaked out so he just bolted out of the storage room but right when he was going out mr phillips was coming back in so caleb knew that he just had to sit there and act like nothing happened because he didn't want to act suspicious like mr phillips might have caught him or something okay first of all it's so weird that he has photos of them in the storage room but why did he circle the faces like why did he pick them for yeah so caleb has no idea what to do now he's kind of freaking out but he knows that he needs to stay calm in order to not look suspicious in front of mr phillips but during class mr phillips decides to tell caleb nicole nick and christy that they all did a great job with their photos but he only told those four kids and then he decided to tell nicole that she has detention again because she only turned in nine but nicole knew that she turned in ten so now caleb was worried for nicole because he didn't know what was going to happen at detention. So Caleb decided to think of a way to get detention with Nicole so he could try to protect her. And he decided to go on his phone in class and he knew that Mr. Phillips had a no phone policy. And even though Mr. Phillips liked Caleb, he had to give him detention. So then after school, it's just Caleb, Nicole, and Mr. Phillips in the classroom. And Caleb is really watching Mr. Phillips to see if he does anything suspicious. And he realizes that Mr. Phillips is just constantly staring at Nicole. Like he does not take his eyes off of her. But what's crazy is he does not look at Caleb once. Like he doesn't care what Caleb's doing, he only cares what Nicole's doing. That is so creepy. Yeah, so after detention, Caleb decides to get all of his friends back together and he told them what was in the storage room, but they all didn't believe him. They all thought he was crazy. So he just said, I have to show you. So he told them tomorrow, everybody needs to get to class early so we could see what Mr. Phillips is doing and we can get into the storage room. So the next day comes along and all four of them get to class early and they decide to have Nick make a distraction outside the classroom to get Mr. Phillips outside of the classroom. So Nick tells Mr. Phillips that there's an emergency and he needs to leave. So then Mr. Phillips leaves the classroom and then all three of them could get into the storage room. So they go into the storage room and they cannot believe their eyes. They're literally seeing all these pictures with red circles around their faces only. And now all of them are freaking out because they realize that Caleb was right and they're trying to find a solution, but the only solution they could come up with was to tell the principal. Dude, this teacher is absolutely insane. Yeah, so Caleb and his friends just all run out of the storage room and run out of the classroom. But as they're running out of the classroom, they see Mr. Phillips coming back to the classroom and Christy remembers that she forgot to close the storage room door. So then the kids run to the principal's office and tell the principal that Mr. Phillips is collecting weird photos of all the students. And then the principal decides to follow them back to Mr. Phillips' classroom. But once they get there, they go to the storage room and the storage room is empty. There's no photos and Mr. Phillips is gone. And the next day, they had a substitute teacher instead of Mr. Phillips. And after that, Mr. Phillips just never came back. Bro, what the heck? Yeah, but the real question is, why did Mr. Phillips really like Caleb and his friends the most? And who was he before all this happened? Yeah, I mean, I wonder what happened in his past for him to be so 
like screwed up in the head. So growing up, Mr. Phillips didn't have the best home life. Like he had a family, but they always excluded him from everything. Like he was always the odd one out. So they would exclude him from like family photos, family trips. They would always just leave him out of everything so he was part of the family but they would just leave him out and in his family it was only him his younger brother and his parents and his parents always favored his little brother and they always told him that he was the better looking one that he was the more successful one and they always told mr phillips that he was the one that was gonna fail that is so messed up and that is how villains are created yeah and as a little kid it always seemed like mr phillips lost to his little brother like his little brother always won the prize his little brother always got the girl but this all goes back to why mr phillips assigns the assignment to his students of taking the photos with him because because Mr. Phillips never got to be in his own family photos because he lived in a household where nobody wanted to take photos with him. So in a way, it gave him a sense of feeling like wanted and needed. And that's something he didn't feel from his family. So what's the reason why of circling those students? Like why those four kids? Like why did he do that? So this is where it starts to get really weird. So he felt that the four kids he liked and the four kids that he focused on the most actually resembled people from his past. So the reason why he liked Nick is because he reminded him of his little brother. He was like good at sports and he was the popular one. So now that he had these photos of Nick, he felt like he had photos with his little brother and that's something he never got to have and then he said Caleb and Christy both kind of reminded him of his parents because they're very simple people but they also resembled them physically as well so because of that he felt very attached to them dude that's still so crazy like who thinks like that yeah but what's really weird is Nicole so Nicole actually reminded Mr. Phillips of his childhood crush that he never got to spend time with because she didn't like him the way he liked her and when you really think about it this is why Mr. Phillips gave Nicole detention all the time because it was like he was spending time with his childhood crush so he literally gets to be in the same room with his dream girl but that same year that Mr. Phillips left the school and nobody saw him again he actually got arrested because he actually got caught spying on a family that was living in his old childhood home and he was spying on them because they were such a happy family Family, and that's something he didn't have inside his own home and when he got arrested he actually confessed what happened at the school dude this whole situation is just insane yeah so mr phillips spent 15 years in prison and within those 15 years he actually died in prison but five years after he died after all this time the four kids are still really close friends and they all have families of their own but this is where it gets really scary so one day caleb was checking his mail and in the mail he found a yellow envelope and this envelope had no name on it no address it had nothing so caleb decided to open it and his jaw just dropped his entire body went numb like he couldn't believe what he was looking at and all that was in the envelopes were the photos of him back in school with the cutout of Mr. Phillips's face and they were circled but then he also found pictures of his daughter who was just starting the second grade and on the back of the photos there was a location so he decided to drive to the location and see what it was and it actually ended up being a cemetery but when he got to the cemetery he saw Nick Nicole and Christy there too so he knew that everybody got the photos and they decided to compare the photos and they saw that Nick actually had a map of the cemetery on his photo so they followed the map and it led them to mr phillips's grave and when they got to the gravestone all that was left on the gravestone were four flowers literally one for the each of them and they literally have no idea who did it just moral crazy. story you got to be careful you never know who's out there yeah so guys if you made this far on the podcast thank you so much for watching i know this wasn't like our usual episode so we'll see you guys tomorrow on tiktok and we'll see you guys next sunday on apple podcast spotify and youtube we'll see you on the tiktok god bless you guys see ya love ya